this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another glass bottle design. This is a clear glass bottle. I'm going to begin by just doing some quick sponge painting with a sea sponge using 14 karat gold folk art multi-surface paint. And so I, I just basically dip my sponge into it and then I'm going to go around and go through the whole bottle this is just going to be a base coat for me to paint my floral design over the top of. But I just wanted to show you basically how I'm doing it. Because I know a lot of times I will not include this part. I'll just go ahead and do it. And then show you the end results before I start painting on the uh, base after it's dried. But anyhow, since this is a clear bottle, I thought, you know, why not go ahead and give it a little bit of uh, ambiance with the gold. And then I would have a nice base coat to paint over the top, which of course, if you follow my channel, you know what that means. You have a nice base coat. The more paint, the thicker you put the paint on, the better durability you're going to have with your paint. Now, of course, it's not as important when you're uh, not something that's not going to be handled constantly or like a wine glass would be not quite as important as as that is however you know with these bottles you, know, you want to be able to have them around for a while because I, I think they're such pretty ambiance pieces home decor pieces for anyone the only thing I would be you know, a little apprehensive is if you have children, there are batteries in these these uh, fairy lights. I use the the wine uh, cork looking ones and stick them down in here instead of drilling holes in them, which, you know, either way you can do. But I'm real funny about batteries. So if you've got little kids around, you know, just make sure that that's not something that they're going to have access to. If you put it in a child's room to be used as a night light, that's fine, but just keep it up to where little ones can't get into it because they're not toys. You know, these are not meant, you know, they are glass and they're not meant to be used as a, a toy that they can play with. And because they are glass and they do have batteries. Like I said, batteries can be very dangerous for little ones, so keep them out of their hands, please. Alright, so I have a nice little coat of paint on here. I'm just thinking, just very quickly, you know, I did this within what, maybe a minute or two at the most. So there you go. So we're going to give it some dry time and then I'm going to come back and paint a design on it for you. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do another floral design on a glass bottle. This bottle, as I did uh, early on in the video, I have covered it using a sponge and the gold, uh, 14 karat gold multi-surface paint. So it's already dry and I'm going to go ahead and paint my design. Just going to do it on the front of the bottle for you, give you a, get the gist of the design, which is simple. I am going to be using a number 10 and a number 6, a magic flat brush and a number eight different stippler. Paint I'm using, once again, is all folk art paint, enamels, and multi-surface combination. Actually, on this one, I think it's all, it's all enamels. I'm gonna use forest moss, burnt sienna, tea berry, yellow ochre, scovash yellow, and wicker white. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I need to actually pull a little bit more paint out here because I'm going to start with the tea berry and the wicker white and then go from there with it. Use a lot of white. I definitely use a lot of white paint. Alright, going to use the number 10 flat brush on this, 
And just to show you, because I don't have a whole lot of room here with the video and all, I am sticking each side into the colors that I want to use, which are the Tea Berry and the Wicker White, and doing my blending strokes in between. So I'm just going to show you this is what I'm doing to start off with. Alright, let's go ahead and get started here. At the top here, I am going to start by doing just a basic little wiggle stroke, kind of coming back down and up. And then I'm going to start off just by doing the this part and then I'll go back and add the white part in. So I am doing Again, same strokes, basically just kind of up and down and just turn in the bottle as I go. Continue on. My channel is meant for very simple designs, which are great for beginner painters. They're not meant to be real difficult. I want to encourage people to be creative and to give it a try. Don't want to scare you off. If you like my videos, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, oops, sorry, make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share the videos before you leave. I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, so I'm just going to continue on, just doing my little, my little, little wave up and down, just creating the first layer for the flower. And just come back up and down, on a wiggly edge, if you get too much paint on your brush, just wipe it off on a paper towel, that's perfectly fine. And then I'm going to do three opens and then a couple buds. I just want to make sure though that I'm not touching the other side. So I'm just doing the front of this for the video so that I don't roll, roll it over and touch it and ruin the design because I am very good at that. Okay, so it's just, just very simple. Again, just to bring a little, whoops, did that on the wrong side. And I'm going to put another bud down this way. But I want more of the tea berry in it. Again, I'm just doing wiggle, 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 and bringing it back. And then I'll come over here, put another one in. And I just realized I'm ending up with an odd number of flowers, so guess what? I don't like that, or an even, so I'm going to add another bud. I have to. I just can't do it. Alright, so I'm going to wipe a little of the paint out. Reload it, still with the two colors. And you'll see then what I'm doing. I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to wiggle a layer on it like that. And then I'm actually going to come back just with a little bit of white and just come back like that. Alright, so let's do this next one. Next one, again, this is a little smaller. But then I'm just going to come back, wiggle a little layer, like such. Then I'm going to come on to my bigger blooms and just kind of do, I want these to be more of a, like a wiggly. Probably come back over this a little bit, come up here. And then I'm going to roll my brush a little bit and then come back up and do the same thing. Now one benefit of having the XX paint, you know, with the, the base paint on here, that it allow me to do these strokes that I'm doing. If I were trying to do this without the paint on here, the base paint, it would be pulling the paint up. If I was just doing it on the clear glass, 
and that that would be frustrating. So that was one reason because I knew I wanted to do this type of a flower that I actually ended up doing it this way with the with the base paint of the uh, gold. If that makes sense. I don't know if I touched that. I don't think I did. Let's sort of clear that up a little bit. Then I'm going to come over here, do the same thing. And I can come over the gold because there's a little bit of a space there and just keep going. Just wiggle on the brush a little bit. Good surface to practice on when you're painting on glass is wax paper. Obviously if you're painting on glass you can test it out on the glass and just wipe the glass off or wash it or whatnot. If you don't have that option or you don't want to do it that way, you know, definitely doing it on wax paper is a good surface. And it's affordable. You know, it's easy to to get a hold of and it's affordable because all you're gonna do is practice and throw it out. So you know, that does make it an easy surface to practice on. Palette paper is also a good one, but that's more, not that it's expensive, but it's more expensive, obviously. Now for the purpose of the video, as I mentioned, I'm just sticking to painting on the front, but to sell it, I would paint all the way around it. And I do add lights, and I never really thought about this, but I probably should put a link in the bottom underneath the video to the, the uh, lights that I include with my listings. And I will do that. And you don't have to. I mean, these are pretty, pretty conversation pieces, pretty home decor pieces just by having them sit. You can even maybe add some dried flowers to them. That's fun too. Up to you. Alright, so there we have this part. Fun, fun, fun. And the next thing I'm going to do, give us a little bit of drying time before I tap in the centers. You can also use a heat gun. Uh, hair or hair uh, dryer, you know, whatever you have available to you. I do actually have a heat gun. And that's nice to give just some basic drying to the paint. It doesn't completely dry it. So you have to keep that in mind that it's not a, especially if the paint is thicker, it's not going to be a complete dry. It just gives it a little bit more, more uh, dryness to it to help you maybe keep from mixing the paint colors. On this, I'm going to do a little bit of white into my uh, paint colors. I'm basically tipping it into the thicket, the moss, or the forest moth, a little bit of the thicket, and then a little bit of the tea berry to create the greens. And I'm going to put around my flowers. And you can use one or two colors, three colors, four colors, whatever you feel comfortable with. And you don't have to use a variety of colors like I do. You know, sometimes I even use the yellow. I think that's a nice touch. Just whatever you whatever you feel comfortable with. My designs are basically to give you a base to start with. Whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever color combinations you like to use, go for it. You know, don't feel like you have to use exactly what I'm using because that's just not necessary. It truly isn't. You make it your own. I'm giving you that freedom, your creative freedom to make it your own. 
definitely. All right, I got one more to attach. These are all pretty close to each other. They're kind of clustered, which is what I was going for. Now, if you wanted to make them look like they're attaching, you could just put a just a little piece of greenery in between them. Up to you. Not necessary because they are so clumped together. But you can if you want. And when you're painting, you know, you can turn your brush. It doesn't always have to be heading in the same direction. Because depending on how you're pulling it, that's what color you're going to lead with. If that makes sense. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do, load my brush up again with the still the thicket and the forest moss. And I'm going to get in here and do, just want to make sure it's loaded good, get in here and do some of my basic, my ruffled leaves as I call them. Like that. And you can switch the colors around. You can on your designs do them all going the same direction, meaning all the all the uh, leaves are dark on the outside, all the leaves are light on the outside, or they're the same same color on each side, or they're different colors on each side. Like this one has the darker and then the lighter. This one, I'm starting with the darker again. I'm trying not to, let me blend this a little bit better. I'm trying to blend it better. And it's going to be a little bit lighter. And then we come down. So the darkers are on both sides, but it looks different than that one. That's my that's my point. They're not all the same. You don't really want them to be the same. I mean, they can be the same leaf, or you can mix it up and do different leaves. They don't all have to be the same either. That's really up to you. Just want to make sure I get some good. Okay, we keep going here. If you have any questions or comments, please place those down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let me just keep going here. I just want to randomly place these around the bottle. Even place a little bit of yellow in them. Just a little touch like that. And then pull it through. Very simple. Now again, it does take practice. So if you if you're kind of getting a little anxious over it and it's not working out the way you think, just realize it does take some time. Practice makes perfect, and don't forget. If you don't get it the very first time you try it, just keep trying. Don't give up. Because I do believe that being creative and having an outlet is a great way to reduce stress. Very much so. Alright, let's see here. I might put maybe another one. I'm just trying not to... I always get real worried about touching it. Definitely try not to tr touch it on my paper below. Okay, let's see here. We're going to do a lighter one here. And then 
and we will turn it Turn it, turn it, turn and go down like that. All right, so, so far this is what we have. And my next thing is going to be to do the, the, the thicket still. And I am going to do a little bit of a combination of the thicket, the tea berry, and the, uh, what else did I put in here? The, um... The thick of the tea berry and the white, the wicker white. And I'm just going to put up my little, quick little leaves, very simple leaves. And they do have a little bit of color to them because I'm adding that berry, I want to say berry wine, but that's not what it is having to um, add the tea berry. So that just gives it just a little bit of a different color. So we're not just having to do all greens. We can vary that out some. I think it's pretty. Very pretty. And then I'm going to do it over here. You don't have to actually reload your brush all the time. You can if you want, but you don't have to. I like these even as a filler flower or filler leaf. Sorry. What do you think about it? Do you like the colors? I mean, the tea berry definitely is. One of my favorite colors now, I'll have to be honest with you. I really do like it. Okay, I'm going to do that. Do this one. Alright. And you can even put some out here ahead of it if you want in. Well, I guess it's the bottom of the bottle, not the top. On the base. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I hope you like this. We're going to be done here shortly. And honestly, you could do some different... You don't have to do all the little leaves like this in this color. You could even rotate and put some... Maybe a smaller brush or different kind of different kind of leaf or a different shape of leaf. You know, whatever floats your boat. The main thing too when you're when you're painting on glass is that you are giving a good coat, that you are You've cleaned the bottle well before you started painting on it. That's very important also. And having this base on here of paint, that actually will help with the added coat that we're talking about. All right, so for the centers, we're almost done. Thanks for sticking with me here. For the centers, though, I'm going to take my deer foot stippler. And actually, I did it in the wrong color. I'm going to do the yellow ochre and the sienna brown, or burnt sienna, I think it's called. Okay, dang, nab it. Keep loading it wrong. Okay, so the front is going to be the yellow ochre. The back of the brush is going to be the burnt sienna. And so then I'm going to come on here and then just tap it. Now, again, I'm pulling in some of the color below. Because I gave it a little bit of drying time, but it's not dry. So that's to be expected. For the purpose of the video, I'm not going to stop and give it a hair dry or a heat gun hit. I'm just going to go ahead and keep going with it. And then 
think it's fine. And we'll just keep, keep doing it. And I just keep adding to it. You can make your centers bigger, smaller, up to you. So now I'm adding a little bit of the school bus yellow into it into the mix. Like I said, you can keep working with it. It's, you know, because the paint is wet underneath, it's easier to get a, a crisper, you know, different look when it's dry. Definitely much easier. But, you know, for now, we're just going to leave it at this. I think they're pretty. All right, I hope you like this. Once again, thanks so much for stopping by my channel and taking time to view my work. If you like this, make sure you do give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, please hit the share button underneath to share this with your family and friends on your social network. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, until the next time, you, pl you please stay safe and healthy. And you have a good one.